Hey y'all, welcome back, it's Hans. We have another scope review for you again this weekend. It is a big one, y'all. If you pay attention to the Late Night Vision Show, you know that a few months ago uh, with Nathan Wood from IRA USA, Jason and I uh, broke the news that Infrared Outdoor and IRA USA are releasing a brand new 1024 by 1024 thermal scope. It's called the Bolt TX60. The big news, it is released this week. It's at Outdoor Legacy and we are reviewing it today. The week that it comes out, we got a big review. now. How can we do a review so quickly after the scope is released? Well, we've actually had this scope since May. We've got a lot of, of thermal video through the optic for you to see. We're going to talk about the specs, uh, hear about the likes, dislikes, who it's good for, and like I said, a ton of thermal video through the scope. But before we get to it, if you are looking to purchase the TX60, uh, maybe another scope, give us a call, 877-350-1818. You can find it. Uh, all of our optics on the website, OutdoorLegacyGear.com. You can go to the description of this video and click on a direct link over to it. But this is my full-time job, eight to five, Monday through Friday. Uh, you can call me, we can talk about scopes, find out what's right for you, make sure that we get you uh, into an optic that you're gonna be confident with and know that you know when you make the purchase, it's gonna be exactly what you want and it's gonna fit your needs. So again, 877-350-1818. You can talk to me directly. Now let's get to the specs. All right, now as we're running down the specs, you're gonna be showing a ton of thermal video. I got a big old long list and I'm gonna read right here, y'all, just because there's so many good things I wanna make sure that I hit uh, and I don't leave out. So we're gonna roll the video, go through the specs. Okay, the price, $6,999. Why is that um, important? Obviously the price is important, but six you know right at seven thousand dollars for a 1024 scope really came in under the price if you can believe that seven thousand dollars is a lot of money but it came in under what we thought it might be if y'all remember the infrared outdoor rs75 the 1280 resolution unit came out on the market at eighteen thousand uh, dollars now the 1024 coming in at 69.99 kind of seems like a heck of a deal doesn't it uh but again seven thousand dollars a lot of money but there's a lot packed into this scope um, if you want to purchase the laser rangefinder, you can separate. I'll show you what it looks like uh, on the optic itself. It's seven hundred ninety-nine dollars for the laser rangefinder. It does integrate into the scope. The laser rangefinder displays the uh, yardage on the screen of the optic uh, as well. Um, again, I'll say it again: ten twenty-four by ten twenty-four thermal resolution. That's a, a, a unique resolution right now. There's not any scope on the market that is a ten twenty-four by ten twenty-four. Uh, there are other 1024 scopes, but not uh, the 1024 by 1024. So a uh, 12 micron, it's got a minus 18 millikelvin NETD thermal sensor, 50 hertz refresh rate, starts at three power, goes to 16 power. Uh, the display, very big display resolution size, uh, 2560 by 2560. That means when you look through the eyepiece, that uh, that is just gonna look, the, the picture image is just gonna look very big and bright on that screen just because it is such a large and high resolution. It's a very generous field of view at 100 yards for a three power scope, 61 and a half feet field of view. Uh, it's got a 2,700 yard uh, detection range, seven reticles, five of them are static, one dynamic and one that you can build yourself. Uh, seven color palettes, it does have Wi-Fi included in, video and audio recording. Has eight to ten hours of runtime uh, and an upgrade from with this bolt model. It, it does come ready to uh, to use an 18650 battery. So it, it runs on internal battery and a removable 18650 battery, which is fantastic. Again, those batteries are easy to find and very inexpensive. So you can have several of them on standby ready to go. Uh, it does come with an infrared outdoor branded QD mount now. We run everything, y'all, at Outdoor Legacy on American Defense Manufacturing, recon mounts, all the tube style scopes. So that's why I immediately put it in this. The QD mount that comes with the infrared outdoor works just fine. We tested it, no concerns. Uh, but this this mount is, you know, I, I'll show a video. I, I had a, I was doing a review video uh, for the late night vision show with Jason. I had the scope in my hand, just like this. Two hours later, threw out a rifle and, and sh shot a hog uh, at 258 yards without checking zero, without re reciting it in. We trust it this much, and we know that it's gonna return to zero. So uh, that's a big testament for the quality of these optics. If you wanna see that hunt, uh, go check out my YouTube shorts. All my hunts, y'all, with all of these scopes that we review, I put on YouTube shorts. The reason, if you put hunting videos in reviews, 
YouTube will censor that review. It will not suggest it. It will not show it to people. It won't even say it exists unless you go specifically to it and you're looking for it. So all my hunts I usually put on YouTube shorts. The one of me dropping the hog with the TX60 you can find on YouTube shorts right now. Uh, weighs uh, 46 ounces and does have a five-year, the IRA USA five-year warranty. So this is the Bolt TX60. It's got a 60 millimeter objective lens, a uh, little bit larger, and they had to do that because of the uh, the 1024 by 1024, but a little bit larger uh, objective lens, but still works well on any platform with the recon mount still fits. You got enough clearance uh, on any of your rifles. I do like this little throw lever for the uh, focus adjustment here that they added uh, right there. Now you've got your 18650 right here, battery compartment, your turret on top, which is your menu turret, and it also raises your magnification, does a couple different things. Uh, you've got your USB-C port right here to plug into the optic, and you can also plug it right into the uh, uh, wall outlet to charge it. And then you have a button layout on top for your you know, power button, changing color palettes, uh, video and, and uh, your video and taking pictures, that kind of stuff. All These are the buttons you're going to be using most often that in this magnification wheel. Important note, the 18650 does not charge inside the scope. It does come with a, a charging stand or charging base for the 18650s. You have to charge them separate. So if you plug in the scope, it's not going to charge all the batteries, only the internal batteries. You got to charge the 18650 separate on the base. Let me show you what it looks like with the laser range finder mounted on it. All right, here is the optic with the laser range finder mounted on the scope itself. It, all it does, y'all, is just clamps around the tube uh, housing right here in between the mount and where the, the bell starts to expand on the objective. So, it, you know, it operates separate. It, it charges and, and has its own battery that recharges. You push a button, you turn on the laser range finder inside the scope, it pairs automatically. Very easy calibration process, setup process. It is integrated wirelessly. So again, you see the laser range finder uh, yardage inside the optic itself. And it does have onboard ballistics calculator, which is fantastic. Ready to go out the box. You can set up the ballistics on this so it will give you a point of impact reference on your screen for whatever, however far the target is away. So again, that laser range finder mounts there very quickly. I can take it off within a matter of just a second. Uh, people are concerned, you know, with the removable laser range finders, if they get bumped, that is, you know, if you bump it hard enough, anything's going to mess up. But th that clamped on there is very strong and you'd have to hit it really hard uh, to be able to knock that thing loose. It's, it's bolted in on the inside uh, and it's clamped around the, the scope it's very very tight uh, so that's what it looked like with uh, with the laser range finder on the optic itself let's let, give you a chance just to look at it real quick in all its glory uh, you know if you look at it obviously it looks just like a lot of the other bolt models except it does have a little bit larger objective lens than the bolt th50 uh, but i want to talk and run down uh the the cons and the pros and, and who it might be good for okay so let's get the the bad stuff out of the way first there's not much few things i want to talk about um and it's not specific with this scope really i find it with all the ira usa scopes i use a macbook computer uh, now i use an iphone and i don't have my phone leaving by me but i use an iphone and the wi-fi uh, the 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 app the infrared outdoor app works great with my iphone i can download the videos right to my iphone and then i airdrop them to my computer the problem is if i plug the scope directly into my MacBook computer, it doesn't recognize it. And it's been that way with all the IRA or infrared outdoor scopes. So I cannot directly take videos from my scope to my computer. I, I prefer to do it that way because I feel like the, the video quality, it holds together better than having to airdrop it a couple times. Um, but I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just not compatible with any MacBook computer. So if that's what you run, you're, you're gonna have to do everything through the app. Now, if you're using a, a Windows based computer, and again, this is not, we're not talking about cell phones, we're talking about laptops and desktops. If you're using a, a Windows based operating system on your computer, it will recognize it, it won't have a problem at all. It's only for you, uh, all of you Apple and MacBook snobs uh, like we can be. Uh, it, it will not recognize it. The other thing, um, the, the de detachable laser range finder, I put that on the 
the cons. Again, people really want that integrated and permanently attached to the scopes. Right now, none of the Bolt models have a permanently attached integrated laser rangefinder. It's kind of what people want, um, but still works very well. No concerns about it. I uh, just know that it's an add-on accessory you have to pay extra for, and it's um, not permanently attached. So I put that in the cons list again. Um, not that big a deal. Last one was weight. Uh, these full-size scopes are not light at all, and people aren't buying these because they're a lightweight setup. They're they're buying them because they, you know, this tube-style scope is compatible with really any platform, any AR-style rifle, bolt-action rifle, uh, any chassis rifle. You'll be able to fit it on there nicely. And it has a lot of flexibility in the mounting that you can move it forward or backward to be able to get good and comfortable eye relief. That's why really the tube style scopes just about in every manufacturer are their most popular design because of the flexibility of what you can mount this on. So that is the cons. We're going to talk about the likes. There's a lot of them. I had to write them down so I make sure I hit all of the highlights here. Um, the What I really like, the upgrade on the battery. The 18650 battery, it was an 18... 500 or a CR one, something like that. It was a different battery. I can't remember with the bolt of the other one. My mind, it slips my mind. But they converted it to fit an 18650 battery. Fantastic choice. Great battery choice. Glad that they made that, that change to a right out the box compatible 18650 battery housing for that. Kudos on that. Great move. Um, I talked about it quickly. The onboard ballistics. Uh, works very well, no concerns, you know, just an added feature. Again, people, more and more people are asking about onboard ballistics. They, you know, whatever scope brand they're talking about, they really like that feature. I, I like the fact that you can dial up the magnification. So when you rotate the turret, you're going up in increments of one X, one power. So you start at three power, you click it, uh, four power, five power, six power. Instead of doubling the magnification with a press of a button, you're dialing that magnification up incrementally in very smaller steps, you know, 1x steps. Fantastic. Love it. You can really hold together the picture image very well, which leads to my next point. When you raise the magnification on a 1024 scope, the picture image just remains very, very good. Uh, you can dial this thing up to 10, 12 power. The picture image still looks great. When I shot that hog, um, at 258 yards, I had the, the, the magnification dialed up. I forget exactly how much I was on, but quite a bit in the picture image. I could still see the ear because there's a little bit of tall grass, so I can still see the ear enough to take a good shot. So magnification uh, with a 1024 scope, you're, you're, you're starting at such a high resolution, you know, that and, and you're, you're doing small increments of magnification that you're still holding together a great part of uh, or a big chunk of the res resolution every time um the the app i talked about this on the other infrared outdoor uh videos the app work works very well i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it the infrared outdoor app compatible with your phone and the scope get the videos off viewfinder mode all that works fantastic okay the last three points on my list image is amazing it is everything you would expect a 1024 scope to be you're going to get it i do not think you're going to be disappointed I see a lot of scopes. I got this and was not disappointed at all. And sometimes when you get to see as many scopes as Jason and I do, uh, sometimes you get a little cynical. Uh, but this definitely uh, met, if not exceeded our expectations. Um, the picture image within humidity, in high humidity, all the videos you see, it's summertime in Texas and we've had a ton of rain. A lot of humidity still performs very, very well can't say enough good things about the minus 18 millikelvin NETD thermal sensor, fighting through all that humidity, pulling out that, that heat signature, making that image look really, really good. Uh, and then image with magnification is amazing. So my last three points on my notes, image is amazing. Image in high humidity is amazing. And image with magnification is, is amazing. Last three points on my likes uh, with this scope. So who is it good for? 3x base magnification, y'all, a very uh, general starting point with magnification. I'm knocking stuff over. I think that if you are a coyote hunter, you're definitely going to want at least three power unless you're hunting in woods, but most coyote hunters want a three power base magnification. This is going to be great for that. I am a hog hunter and a coyote hunter. I like 3x base magnification now as a starting point. I, I've changed from that, from that. I used to like lower, but now I like three power base magnification. So, Really, if you're hunting uh, coyotes, hogs, 
uh, shorter, you know, short, medium ranges out to some longer range stuff. I think this is going to be uh, really fit for you. But I do think, y'all, mark my words, I do think that this is going to be one of the most popular coyote and predator hunting thermal scope going into fall 2024 and coyote season 2025. This is the Infrared Outdoor Bolt TX60C available at Outdoor Legacy. Got it upside down. <laughs> it's like the guy in the crowd that's holding up a sign and it's upside down. Uh, the Bolt TX60C is available right now, OutdoorLegacyGear.com. You can call me if you want to talk about it, if you want to know if this is right for you, if it's worth the money. Let's have those tough conversations. Um, maybe the scope is the right one for you. Maybe it's not. We'll find out which one is and we'll we'll move on accordingly. But 877-350-1818, OutdoorLegacyGear.com. Y'all, we appreciate you. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for watching the Late Night Vision Show podcast. A lot of the work and time that I do as an executive producer of the podcast is poured into the podcast because we're doing that on a weekly basis. I mean, we're doing multiple videos on a weekly basis. So if you're looking for something that you can look at all the reviews, all the information on the scopes, go check out the late night vision show.com. You can find it here on YouTube, the late night vision show, Jason and I, the owner of outdoor legacy, both do that show and we've done it for years. Uh, we're on episode 326 that just released today. And it was also the bolt TX 60 review. So if you want to hear two guys talk about it a little bit longer form, you can check that out, but really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Call us if you have any questions and we'll see y'all soon with the next scope review.